that I'm at an all time. All right, what is going on, guys? This is your boy NX Studio here, bringing you guys another tutorial video. I know it's been a really, really long time. I just haven't get, I just haven't got the motivation to do any recording myself and I finally got some uh, motivation to do such things so today is I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial in this tutorial I'll be uh, showing you guys how to make some simple eSports banner doesn't matter it's Twitter or YouTube I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like show you like a quick little uh, what you call it? An example of how it's supposed to be like so mm, I'm just gonna think of a pretty good example uh, let's use, uh, yeah, this one. It just published, so something similar, uh, similar like this. Uh, you can see the uh, things like the content of what the, what game they're playing at the back and the uh, things at the uh, front. But today I will be showing you guys something much more simpler like this one. So yeah, uh, it's a bit different, difficult, but you could probably see, you know, some. Call of Duty shit at the uh, the backs, but anyways, uh, let's just first create like a document and stuff. I'm gonna use uh, Twitter and it's supposed to be 1500 times 500, and let's just name it tutorial. Come on, yeah, there we go. Okay, now first thing you want to do is you want you want to uh, like you have to decide your thing. So let's just say I'm making like uh, I'm making a uh, Banner for a CSGO team, so you just go go ahead and go to Google and type CSGO wallpaper. Make sure it's uh, pretty HD. I'm just gonna use 1080p. So go to image and just find some pretty cool shit. I don't know anything is anything will be fine. Uh, just say let's just take a wallpaper and CSGO. Use this one, and maybe we could get something pretty nice. Pretty nice, like a cinema. Let's see, nothing great so far. You really want to pick like pretty cool. Let's say let's go cinematic 1080. There we go. Mm, this this is fine. A little bit motion blur, not probably. Oh, this is all, okay. We're gonna use this one. So I'm just gonna use this, and uh, um, prefer uh, preferably make it into view image and then copy it again because it's a lot larger and might get some better quality. So I'll just co uh, copy and paste the image. Now, as you guys can see, it's a bit large at this moment. So I just want you just want to like center it, and then hold and then make it <clears throat> put it into a free transfer mode, and then hold Alt and Shift, and drag it in. To the uh, right space like that. There we go. Now you want to make sure your background uh, color is black, so we can fill that in, and also create another new uh, layer, and then also fill it black. But I'm gonna turn that off just for now. Now we're gonna work on the image first. So um, few color correction you want to add it. Uh, it will look better if you put it on the black and white. So, but I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do some uh, contrast, make it look much more better. Maybe some. Uh, I think that should be it. All right. Now you make sure you want to put it on the black and white. It's it's gonna look a lot better. And then also make sure you well not make sure, but you can mess with the uh, setting here just to make the uh, black and white more contrast and it might look better. I don't know. It depends on how you uh, make it work. So I'm just gonna do a little few little uh, adjustment here like that. Okay. No, that's terrible. Okay. There we go. Cool. Okay, no. You can really see the uh, person is sticking out, and the uh, sticking out is like a dark, uh, really dark color. And the uh, background, the uh, back, it's pretty, uh, it's a lot lighter and white. So we're gonna turn turn on the uh, black layer that we've just filled in, and turn down the opacity to maybe 85, mm, 90. I'm, I'm, I'm using 85. Cool. There you go. Now you got this pretty simple looking effects already. So I'm just gonna drag in a logo just. Just for the uh, fun here. Uh, hold on, let me open that as well. Uh, graphic design, uh, next logo, and no background, just drag that in. Alright, I'm gonna pre press enter first and then rasterize the layer first. Ah, uh, that's just my little 
preferably usage of the uh, thing, you know. And make it smaller, make sure you center, uh, it should be centered. So there we go. Now center it, maybe type a bit, something like, uh, I'm just going to do my name. Oh, actually I'm going to make it a little bit different, make sure it turn on, and you can mess with the uh, bolding a little bit more. So I'm just going to make this light. And make sure, and then turn down the uh, font size to 13. Still a bit large, so maybe pros, uh, approximately like seven. Now center it again, and there you go. That's some pretty. That is some pretty nice looking uh, esports, you know, like teams and shit. So. There you go. You got a pretty, uh, pretty little simple effects that you can work with. Now, some some fun things I could do to this is to add a little bit of light effects. So, um, I'm not gonna use gradient uh, for this time. I'm just gonna turn it into brush and put it onto that. Make sure the hardness is at zero percent. And hold on. Oh, sorry. Okay. Make it. Uh, make sure it's a lot like the uh, uh, your brush size is. Uh, almost the uh, same as your uh, document so yeah, yeah. Sure. is it yeah it's it. okay it is okay now just gonna smaller make sure your color is on white and just make a little light effects like that and oh yeah cool. true all right there you go and turn down the opac uh, opacity maybe do like 50 or so now I'm just gonna do 30. So I got a little light source at tie the top, and that should be it. Now you could some fun, uh, more stuff you could add is to add like a little gradient effects onto your uh, logo. Turn it up to like twenty percent, so you can see. It. Okay, I'm gonna reverse it. So just put it reverse, uncheck that, and you can see it kind of you know had a little gradient effects on the logo, and then just copy the uh, layer style like that, and then paste it on the text. There you go. Now that's just a really, really simple esports looking professional banner. I don't know how you, how you guys name it, but that just me. This is how I do it. And of course, you can add more stuff. I'm just doing like a tutorial now, so I'm just showing like uh, I'm just showing you the basics. Of course, you can add more like you know you could put a little grading effects onto your uh, the, the black layer that is covering the uh, that is covering your uh, picture. So maybe turn it down to like 10 percent for the opacity, and I'm just gonna. Oh, actually, part of me I did it on the opposite one, so I'm gonna do it on this one. Reverse it 10. Actually, yeah, that works. Now what that says, I can put on 90 for now. Now okay, you could add like um. I'm just gonna do like that. You could draw like a little triangle like this. And since I'm doing black and white, I'm gonna keep it white. I'm gonna keep it white and make selections and just stroke it, and, and make it inside about approximately 10%. Well, 10 pixels. That's a bit big. Uh, five. Uh, Control D to deselect and turn the layer style onto overlay. Oh fuck. And yeah, maybe turn your opacity down to still much 30. And just scale it, rotate it, and then Control J to duplicate it, and then move it around like that. Scale it down and up like that. And yeah, you can make it really big like that. And do approximately do things like this. I'm just gonna uh, horizontally and then do that over here. There. And other things you could do with your logo is you could duplicate it again, and then, and then go to, onto the uh, bottom layer, delete, clear all the layer styles, and then put it onto overlay again, and enlarge it. That's a bit big, and yeah, there you go. And uh, now you could give it like a little rotations, and make sure just to turn your opacity back down to 20. There you go. So you got a little watermark at the back, just for fun. Yeah, there you go. Now you have a pretty nice looking. I didn't do much. I, I didn't put much plan into this banner, but you need to put more plan into uh, your banner, so it makes makes it more look 
more like smooth and clear and in, and everything at all. But the main point of this is just want your you just want your main logo and all the other stuff information you want to give to your subscriber followers stand out. You don't want the uh, back to be too strong, so suggest to turn your opacity down to like 95. Oh shit. Turn it down to like 95 or just make the uh, background a little bit dim, but you can still see it. So Hopefully you guys enjoy this little tutorial that I make, and I will see you guys in the next video, I guess. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and peace.